Good evening, everyone. The leaders and achievements that we are here to honor tonight are part of something bigger. They are part of a movement that has been 22 years in the making. Like every moment, Vital Voices started small. In our early days, I that I remember so well, there were a handful of women who believed in our vision and helped us to grow. I think of them as the founding mothers of Vital Voices. I know several of them are here tonight, and I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge them as well as the Vital Voices board members, past and present. Please stand so that we can recognize you. We need some lights. Thank you so much for all that you have done and all that you continue to do. Sadly, one of them is no longer with us, and tonight we want to pay special tribute to her. A remarkable leader, one of our first and most devoted board members, and a dear friend, Vicki Sant. I remember how thrilled I was when Vicki agreed to be on the board and Vital Voices would go on to become the organization it is today in large measure because of her. Just a few months ago, Vicki left us after a long battle with cancer. She was surrounded in those last moments by her dear husband, Roger, and their family. She left a profound mark on all of us and the countless women in the Vital Voices Network around the globe. Her compassion, commitment, and spirit of generosity were in a league all of their own. Like Kakenya and Tala, who built the first school for girls in her Maasai village, Vicki took Kakenya under her wings and Kakenya looked up to Vicki as a woman who gave of her whole self to empower women around the world. We miss Vicki greatly, but her inspiration lives on and her legacy is greatly reflected in the vitality of this movement. Vital Voices may have been founded to support women leaders around the world. But 22 years later, it is they who have given us far more than we could ever give them, including every reason to have confidence and hope for a better future for all. Thank you.